Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday the 28th of July today you may well be wondering where we are. The sea at Fleetwood Seafront is just down there and this is the entrance to Memorial Park at Fleetwood. It's absolutely blowing a gale this morning, it's 40 odd miles an hour according to the BBC weather app so I'm not even going to try and fight the wind on the seafront, I thought we'd come inland and we'd try and do something a bit more sensible where we can actually hear what we're, what we're saying. So this is the main entrance to the park at Warrenhurst Road. So I'm going to just see if I can, in fact, i tell you what, I'll just cross the road without getting knocked down and show you, show you how lovely it looks from the other side of the road. So that's the newly restored gateway. And the reason I was stood in the position I was stood in is because I've actually brought with me a picture of what it looked like before it was recently restored. Are you ready? So you might remember it looking like like that and you can see that the plaster work and the paint work's coming off. Um, we'll start walking into the part while I'm telling you this story. And in 2013 Wire Council secured a 2.4 million pound heritage lottery grant for restoration of the gateway, the pavilion, the gardens to do a lot of work on the park. Now this is going to be bright but this is the other side of it. So this is the, the, the main entrance to the gardens. Now there's, a, there's an explanation graphic here. Fleetwood touched by war and it explains why Memorial Park was actually built in the first place. And this is known as um, the Memorial Avenue. And in 1917, Memorial Park was originally named to honor the fallen from World War I. The kids at the time who'd lost dads and, and relatives in the, the fighting planted these sycamores and other trees in the park and then a few years later in um, 1925 yeah the, the park and the gardens were designed and built round it so that's why they've got such a, a, a large grant for the improvement of it and the restoration of it because it's actually one of a small number of listed war memorial parks and gardens in the country there are very very few of them actually this is the bowling greens i believe on the left on the public toilets <coughs> so the whole park rather than just a, a war memorial the whole park was actually built as a war memorial so it's actually got national significance it's on the register of parks and gardens of special historic interest which marks its its importance and gives it increased protection so the avenue that we're walking down at the moment leads directly to the war memorial um, the War Memorial was opened in, just a second, let me turn me, let me turn me crib sheet over, I'm not that bright that I can remember all that. It was unveiled in 1927 by Sir William Goodenough, it's about that then for a name. And it marks the names of 329 people from the local area that were killed in conflict and the memorial was restored as well and cleaned up and repaired now along with my picture of the park entrance I've also brought with me as well another one are you ready I'm just trying to I'm just trying to juggle the the camera and sheets of paper in the wind it's not easy <laughs> So this wibble wobble, she says, with the, the camera going all over, and the, the wind's blowing faster at this in this spot. 
I may just get out of the shade because you're not going to see this. So this kind of gives you some sense of how the gardens have grown and the trees have grown because this is a picture woo, of the War Memorial when it was opened in 1925 and that is actually from the Fleetwood Chronicle. You can see on this picture when, in fact I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just go over here and I'll put it flat on the floor because there's a gale blowing now. I told you it was windows. It's awful at the front. Right, let's put this down here. So when you look at this, you can see that there are no trees around it because obviously they were planted only a few years before but in the intervening hundred years they've grown into these mature mature sycamores they actually sound lovely as the wind's rustling through them this morning in fact it reminds me of when I was a small child and we used to go to the part with school and I don't know why but they always seem to pick um, sunny windy days like this and you could always hear all the trees rustling so there's all these lovely plants all replaced around the edge it's really beautiful it's really lovely it has a green flag award in 19 in sorry in the 1930s there were 2,000 roses in the rose garden and some work was done on that in 2011 with another, with another grant. It's really lovely, beautifully well looked after. So this is the playing fields that back onto Highbury Stadium which is of course Fleetwood Football Club. And here we go again with this confusing thing in Fleetwood. That's the wind turbine at United Utilities at Jamison Road. I tell you, I get so confused. In fact, after we had hysterics at me with north and south and east and west the other day, we got the compass out. And... Uh, Stuck the compass under my nose. <laughs> it comes with that left and right thing as well. Morning. It's quite, I mean, I spend a lot of time on the seafront and it's quite unusual coming into a, a proper big garden for me because I don't very often don't very often get the pleasure and it's it's really lovely can't say any other so this is the I presume this is the rose garden as was we'll go through there in a minute I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you the children's playground yeah there's an entrance here so at Warrenhurst Road at that main entrance that we came through there are two plaques on the gate there's a soldier and a sailor and the sailor had gone missing you can understand why I mean with Fleetwood being a dock town somebody's obviously thought it needed a better home so as part of the restoration work a new one was made from um, photographs and, and sort of evidence and, and whatnot to replace it so when the gate was restored and reopened the soldier and the sailor were back on back on duty where they should be so that's a kids adventure playground and obviously on here you can see this tape on this one it's to stop too many children going onto it when we've got the coronavirus issues at the moment <clears throat> so going back to my confusion about north south east and west if you're wondering where memorial park is the the big main roads that will kind of orientate you 
it's between Poulton Road which is the one where Aldi is Highbury Avenue which is the main road from the garage in the petrol station coming down to the corner of the football club and Copps Road which is where the garages are and builder supplies and fisherman's friend and all that kind of stuff so they're the kind of three main roads that make up a big triangle that the park's in the middle of and then specifically if you're looking for it on a map the park is actually in between Welbeck Avenue, Park Avenue and Percy Street according to Google. I've not done that from memory. I've looked it up properly this morning to make sure that I've not got me east and me north and me south and me west mixed up. And then there's different entrances because it's in the middle of a triangular plot of land there's different entrances and exits out into different areas so from where we were just looking across at the um, Fleetwood Town football ground there's a main entrance on that corner very similar to this one that we're approaching here that's got a pair of new decorative gate posts on it and then this is another one I think I've completely lost my bearings I'll not think it's always dangerous when I start thinking I'll tell you where we are when I get through the gates and I can see for myself In fact, I'll keep my mouth shut because I've got no idea where I am. I think this might be Poulton Road. I think where the post van's going to that crossroads might be Poulton Road. So the gates look like that from the other side. So if you're looking for somewhere to go, different for a walk, and you're fancying a bit of a change of scenery, I would highly recommend that you come here. Some more. Oh, is the pond? I wonder if they've got frogs in their pond. Hey, can you tell I'm, I'm really wanting frogs? Since I keep mentioning it every video that I do. That's really lovely. I've been in this garden before, obviously, but it's usually sort of a flying visit. I usually come and take some photos and dash off. And it's the first time I've ever really sauntered from one end to another. So I'm having a proper good look while I'm having a proper good look for you. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? ducks plenty of seagulls having the morning constitutional water plants we'll wait for this couple to go and then we'll go through and have a look at it so there's a nice little fence around it to stop kids running in and having an accident little gate it's quite stiff maybe I need my shredded weight Oh, look at duckies hello duckies oh I don't notice oh and ducklings as well look at this oh aren't they lovely hello duck duck would you brought you some food if we'd have known Oh, so sweet. They've got to have got frogs in here. I'm jealous. A lovely pond. Hello, Mrs. Duck. She's just sat next to the to the edge of the path and just not bothered at all. There's some more over there looking the reeds. <laughs> some more babies as well. That's 
really, really nice. I know I keep saying it's really, really nice, but it is really, really nice. So this has been your walking tour of Fleetwood Memorial Park. And on the Visit Fleetwood website, which is obviously part of Visit Fowl Coast, there's a page of information and it's got all kinds of things on it it's about the the gardens and what's here and get these to asleep the gardens and what's here and the the past history and some copies of old photographs and all about its restoration and and whatnot so don't forget to have a look at that <clears throat> i'll put the link for it in the description to the video and there's lots and lots and lots of different videos to come so make sure that you've subscribed and you've signed up for our weekly email newsletter as well because that's a fountain of interesting stuff and then you'll find out all the other hidden gems like this lovely little garden that we've taken a walk through in fact we're back at Highbury now look that's the football stadium there, just through the trees. Could come and miss this north, south, east, west, couldn't you? Be quite an apt name. I think this is a drainage channel actually, because obviously, you know, we're probably well below sea level, um, so you get a lot of standing water. It's absolutely banged it down yesterday, so there's no wonder it's wet. And here's another little gate to get out of. And another playground. Goodness, it is well equipped. Yeah, so that's the um, Parkside stand at Highbury, that one. Spent many a, many a morning in there at the business club. So, don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications like the video any questions underneath and we'll see you again next time on our next ramble round the file coast you have a lovely day bye